Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, checking out Time Spinner, which is a game that came out last year. Uh, I haven't played it, I know a little bit about it. It's a Metroidvania sort of thing, apparently it's very similar to Symphony of, Symphony of the Night, which I haven't played but I've heard is really, really good, as um, Metroidvania games go, so that's exciting. Uh, I actually looked up the Steam reviews for this game, um, just to get a bit of an idea of what to expect. Uh, I found this review here. Uh, saying, if you dislike virtue signaling, don't buy this game. So, that's hilarious. I also saw this one, which says, However, there seem to be some LBGT, BBQ, WTF, ZAZZ plus annoyances. Everyone is either gay, lesbian, trans, and whatever else you have. So, obviously, I had to get this game immediately, because what an amazing review. <laughs> Anyway, I'm super excited because this game is L B G T W T F B B Q Z A Z Z plus or whatever, and it's Metroidvania, and I'm super excited. <laughs> oh my gosh! Anyway, let's check out Time Spinner. Um, it is available on other platforms because those were Steam reviews and that, but I have the Switch version here, so I, I believe they're all the same. Um, like most indie titles, they just port the same game over. Uh, I haven't tried to play it yet, as you can see, preparing software. It's from Chucklefish. Uh, they make Starbound, but they're just publishing this one. Lunar Ray Games are the actual developers. Well, that looks really pretty. Um, sounds really pretty, too. Uh, do you want to play as America, or... What country is that? Is that Portugal? I don't know the flags. I like to play as America if I want English, that's annoying. Okay, uh, the controls are all reconfigurable by the looks of things, so that's really good. Audio settings, the fault should be fine. It looks like the game is designed to run in, like, a narrow screen resolution. 4x3, probably. So it's got a little border on the side there to fill the screen. That's legit. Uh, Symphony of the Night was on a PS1, which also ran at 4x3, so that makes sense. Uh, what's the Y button do? Oh, that's just language. Okay, let's start the game and see how we go. I'm excited. Oh, uh... Hmm... I guess I'll go for normal mode? It's interesting that they called it Dream Normal Nightmare, but down the bottom they call it Easy Normal Hard, instead of just using the same term in both places. A bit strange. Planet Windaria, 1062 AE. Windaria? Windaria? I don't know. There. Okay, I think everything is ready. Oh goodness, did I forget anything? Mare? Ma Mare? Oh, it's Morella, so probably Mare. This is so important, I'm sure I've forgotten something. I'm sure I'll be fine, Morella. You didn't need to go to all this trouble for me. Don't be silly, you've been chosen to be the next to join the Time Messengers. Of course I'm going to go through all this trouble. Everyone is so excited for you, we have to have a little celebration. It's too early. Should we wait until she goes to the Time Spinner to celebrate? Then she'll be gone for good. I thought it felt, I felt it get suddenly cold. Should have known it was just you. I can see it now, a world without Lunaeus. Lunaeus? Lunaeus. Like a dream come true. Hey, don't you ruin this for her, it's an honour. It's okay, Morella. If, if Yorn has something to say, he can say it. Fine, I will. You just got picked because your mum's an elder. I think I got picked because I can do this. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Without your aura power, you'd just be an angry loser with a short fuse. So I'd be you. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> You shouldn't provoke him, Looney. 
You shouldn't provoke me either. Whatever. Hey, I'm sorry about the cake. Don't worry about it, I made an extra just in case I messed the first one up. Guess I was half right. Cute. Okay, I can move now. I'm playing as Linnaeus, or Linnaeus, or this cutie. Um, I believe she is the player character for the whole game. Uh, the B button makes me jump, none of the other face buttons do anything. Uh, I can do a little back dash for pressing L, so that's cool. Ceiling? Getting into fights on your birthday? It's my present to myself. <laughs> you can't let them get to you so easily. I know, mother. Linnea, so I've been training you for. It's much bigger than what other time messages do. There's a lot of responsibility resting on your shoulders for all of the... Kaelin? Kaelin? Kaelin clan. Yeah, yeah, I know. It feels good to have something, though. Something bigger. Just doing what everyone else does. It's never felt like enough, you know? Hmm. Yes. Well, speaking of presents, I have a couple to give you. Come this way. Being a time messenger is a big responsibility. Your mission, however, is much more important. You will need to be able to defend yourself against those who would try to stop you. Take these. They've been kept by the Kaelin for many generations. Blue Orb. A seemingly ordinary crystal ball. Good for bashing foes. While they may seem ordinary at first, they have a hidden power of being able to mimic other magical orbs. Try lifting both of the orbs with your aura. One for each hand. Equip the melee orbs in the orb menu found in the pause menu. Press plus to open the pause menu. Orbs. Oh, I see. Boop. One in each hand. There we go. Oh, that's cute. How's this? <laughs> awesome. Wonderful. You've always been so talented. Look how cute that is. Can you use these on your now? Oh, uh, maybe practice on the dummy first. Same thing. <laughs> okay, so Y button lets me shoot my orbs out. You sure showed him. Now for your last present. I commissioned an alchemist to make you this necklace, a very special essence necklace. Aura Blast, or a blast of pure aura energy. So that's like a special move, I'm guessing? Try casting a spell by concentrating your energy. Charge a spell by holding A. Release to cast the spell. Spells cost aura points, which recharge on their own. That was incredible. I'm unstoppable. Nicely done. Don't get carried away, though. You'll tie yourself out if you cast too many spells. Yeah, I can see what you mean. I feel a little lightheaded already. Alright, that's the last of your presents. I'll let you get back to your party. Come find me when you're ready for the induction ritual. Okay, so now I have some attacks. I can do that. I can also do that, which is pretty cool. Hey, the second cake is here. Okay, it looks like I can interact with stuff pushing up. Despite being a little sloppy, the cake tastes great. Um, yeah. It doesn't matter if you use the D-pad or if you just use the analog. They have the same effect by the looks of things. It doesn't have, like, analog control. If I tilt the stick a little bit, I still go at full speed. Hey, thanks for doing all this. These decorations are really something. Yeah, they're really awful. <laughs> thanks for pretending to like them, though. I'm really proud of you, Lunaeus. Thanks. I hope that if you go through the gate, we'll end up friends again. I'd like that. Aww. Hey, it's Yorn. Oh, it's Farron. Okay. Looks like Yorn. Hey, I'm sorry about Yorn. He'll get over it. Jace would have been happy for you. Wish I could have met him. It's a big responsibility, though. I don't envy you. <laughs> Hello. Gianna, Grohan, Farron, and I, and our kids are also proud of you, Linnaeus. Good luck. What gives, anyway? I know you wanted to be the next time messenger, but there's no need to ruin it for everyone else. Whatever. Dad gets to be a big hero, and I should be the one to do it next, but there's you with your special powers and freakish hair. <laughs> she's got blue hair because so she's the protagonist. <laughs> That's really funny. Gods, you it's not like this is this glamorous thing. You've heard the stories they tell when we welcome them into the tribe. They lose everything. Yeah, well, some of us have things we want to lose. <laughs> Pano, it would be a great honor to serve alongside you as a time messenger. You should send us both, they'll stop coming for... Ah, you're ready, let's get started. 
<gasps> Fucking them ships, they found us. How did they find us? Why did no one come back to warn us? We'll have to be we will have to be the warning. Go. Run, run, run. What about the others? Soon this timeline will be no more and they'll be safe again. And we'll never have existed. Morella. We have no choice to save them. We must sacrifice our relationships with them. That is the way of it. And us? We'll go in together. Perhaps the time spinner will allow us that much. And this time, we will stop the Empire from ever coming here, like we trained you. This is our clan's only hope, Linnaeus. Come! So is Morella Linnaeus' girlfriend? Because that's really sad that they're having to break up right away. Those bastards, I'll kill them. Or something in the past, Linnaeus. You can save the Kalins. Okay, so she's doing time travel now. Oh dear. Stop! Step away from the machine or we shoot! Mother! Quickly, through the portal! Selen! Oh my god, this is not good. No, the connection! Stop trying to run. Leave us alone! Mother! Oh no! You bastard, I'll kill you! That's not good. No, mother. The time spinner destroyed. Everyone dead. Without the time spinner, I can't save them. I don't even know where I am. Um. Okay, I feel like this is probably the start of the actual gameplay. <laughs> There's a treasure chest over there. Ugh. I'm not, on, I'm not in Windaria anymore. There's a door here, can I open it? Guess not yet. You can see a mini-map in the corner there, which is nice. I can also grab ledges, uh, like Samus in many Metroids. <laughs> it's often an upgrade, but in this game you have it from the beginning, apparently. What's this thing? This is the save point, okay. Lake Desolation, 1062 AE. Well, that's an enemy. Um... Yeah. I don't do a lot of damage yet. Hopefully that'll change. Very pick me up. Is that like a healing item or heal swifty HP? Yeah. All right. Ah. Ugh. Jeez. It's a chest. Old coat. Is that like a... Can I equip it to give myself better strength or something? A musty old coat on the verge of falling apart. Better than nothing. Increases my defense by one. So yeah, that's something. Uh, it didn't change my sprite, which is a little sad, but I guess it makes sense. I'm not really sure how to take those out without getting a hit, because they shoot- Oh dear, that looks scary. Ah! Oh dear. <sighs> what is that thing? Oh, money. I think that's money. I, just got... I think. 
entropy. I don't know if entropy works like money or if it's something else, but that's what I collected. <laughs> oh, okay, this is different. Is time frozen or something? Ooh, hello. That's one of the pieces of the time spinner. It must have been dragged to the portal with me. This is here, maybe the rest is too, and I still have a chance to go back to stop this from happening. Time spinner wheel. Spinning wheel of the time spinner. X stops and unstops time. Defeating enemies restores sand power. Okay, so I can freeze time now. Um. Like this. Which is why it was frozen when I came in. Okay, I see. I see. Level up. I don't know what leveled up, but it's probably good to get something to level up. Okay, so now I can freeze time by pressing X, which makes enemies not move, but I can't hurt them while they're frozen either by the looks of things. Oh wait, I said what I'm supposed to do here. Make you respawn, there we go. <laughs> what is this? It feels familiar. Mother? This is one of her memories. Her mind must have been scattered when the time spinner exploded. When the Emperor ripped her from it. Maybe there are more. I miss you. That. Ah. Okay, yeah, I was supposed to freeze time so that, that collapsing bridge wouldn't... Yeah, like this. Max health up. Oh, that sounds good. I do like having my max health up. How do I, I just want to turn around without actually stepping off the platform. There we go. Yeah, my time freeze doesn't last very long. I assume I get to upgrade how much sand I can keep in the hourglass at a time. Is there a reason to come up here? I feel like there'd be like a hidden room or something, but it doesn't seem to be. It's a save point. There we go. Looks like save points are red on the map, so that's handy. Easy to remember. Oh, hang on. I'm supposed to. Back here, is it ready for my sand? Yeah, it does. Handy. Oh, 
Close. I think I can make it. Yes! Haha. <laughs> Max Aura up. Oh, that's cool. Um, well, I can say something interesting over there, but I can't reach it. Just yet, anyway. Oh, this is a boss battle, isn't it? Yep. Ah! Okay, I was supposed to duck under that. not going so great. Alright, reason time doesn't work that way. Oh dear. I'm guessing I'm going to go back to the last checkpoint, which was here. No. I won't be stopped until I've had my revenge. What the? Who are you? Alright, come on if you want then. Just don't get in my way. Did I just get a new friend? That's cute. Did I get the chest again? Yeah. I'm gonna go back and hit save again so I have to re-get the chest again. There we go. Yeah, it looks like this little dragon friend actually hurts stuff for me, so that's pretty handy. Oh, look at the little dragon with little wings! That's really cute. Alright, let's try this again. I think I have a better idea of what to expect now, so I might feel a bit better. That time it worked. Okay. Blade Orb. An orb of crystallized blades that slices foes. Equip new melee orbs in the orbs menu. I got healed up as well, so that's handy. Uh, let's see, the Blade Orb. It does more damage, but it's lower level. Okay, so I get, they get experience as you play. Okay. I guess I'll keep the blue orb out as well, because that one's already got certain powers. Yeah, I guess I'll use both of them. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> oh, jeez. Gotta hide from that evil spaceship there. Wait, Lachium ships? What if I haven't gone through time, but... I must be on Lachium. I might not be able to stop them from killing my family. But I will make them pay for it. Lucky and present. Yeah, I'd already said that on the map, so... 
kind of a spoiler. <laughs> I'm guessing we will be going back in time since the map says present there. Get to visit past like Lachium or whatever it's called. Can I go in there? It looks like that door might be usable, but I can't do anything with it. Hmm. Va Van de Grey, I think? Metropolis? Something like that. Van de Grey Metropolis? Okay, we got some water down there and a little moving platform. The water doesn't hurt or anything, but it's a little annoying if you miss the platform repeatedly. I'm probably supposed to do something like this and then jump on the platform. <laughs> there we go. Um. Okay, go down the memory. Hang on. That's a good idea to break all these, just in case there's good stuff in them. weird conclusion that seeing a Lachium ship flying by means you're on Lachium. Like, they were invading your place. You could be somewhere else that they're invading. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> uh, is that a door I can go in? No, that's just a block I can stand on. Ah, uh, who's this? Librarian. Welcome to the Va Va Van de Grey Public Library. How may I assist you today? Uh, hi. Can you direct me to, uh... Oh, that accent. You're from the colonies. I just love rustic accents. Let me guess. Are you from Windaria? Oh, uh, uh, yes. I knew it. Welcome to Lachium, the magnificent homeworld of the Empire. As a citizen of the Empire, you're entitled to a very own tablet. Just show me your government-issued ID badge and you can have it. Oh, I, I don't have one yet. Really? I must have slipped your sponsor's mind. Without that, you won't even be able to leave the library. I need to ask your sponsor for it. Shall I contact them for you? No, that won't be necessary. They're... He's already on his way now. Oh, wonderful. In that case, I suppose I could give you your tablet now. That way you can read while you wait. Tablet. A personal device that no one should live without. Downloads files from computers. Yeah, it looks like a smartphone. As a student of history, I believe everyone should have the opportunity to learn about the founding of our glorious empire. Oh, I plan to learn so much about the Empire. Thank you. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> okay, so I have a tablet now. Um, where does that show up? I'm not sure. Minus, maybe? Yeah, I don't know how to interact with the tablet. Maybe I just need to find a computer and download some files with it. Like this one, for example. Keycard door. Please scan your security keycard. I don't have one of those. I just have a tablet. Please scan your security keycard. Yep. Okay, I'm guessing I can get data from this computer here. File downloaded. Emperor Nuvius. Uh, the files? Here they are. Okay, that's a lot of words. <laughs> It'd be useful to look at that, probably, if I wanted to get into the lore a bit more. So I'll probably look later, but it's just not interesting for a video, I reckon. Another file about Lachium itself. Windaria. His chest. 
Soul Scan, it displays the names of foes when they are hit. Oh, okay, that's how you find out the names of foes. Okay, I don't need to equip it. No, I just, it's just an automatic thing. Cool. Alina, Alana the Great. Well, here's a bird. Um, hi. Crow. Hello, hello, hello. Cool. Welcome to the Merchant Crow's Shiny Stuff Emporium. Um, hello, can you speak? I can never tell with you humans. Yes, I can. What are you? I'm the Merchant Crow. Didn't you see me in the campaign? I'm very popular online. What campaign? Oh, never mind. I'm a busy bird and can't spell everything out for you. You want to buy something or not? Um, sure. Okay, so I can buy stuff from you. I can get sunglasses. I can get a trendy jacket. I can't afford an ancient coin or a shiny rock. I'll buy both of these, I guess. I don't know, can I equip both of them? Probably. Yeah, there we go. I kind of wish that appeared on my sprite and I was just wearing sunglasses now. That would be pretty cool. Alright, so I've upgraded from an old coat to a trendy jacket, which is probably a good thing. I'm wearing sunglasses now. I don't have whatever those are yet. They look like feathers? Cool. Uh, I can also buy use items here. Various healers and stuff. The shiny rock doesn't seem to do anything, so I don't know why you would want it. <laughs> I guess the crow just really likes it, because they're a crow. I guess I'll sell the stuff I don't need anymore, like the old coat. Uh, I guess I'll keep these because I'm wearing them. Cool. Oops. Another door I can't get into without a security keycard. Um, well, I want to get that, but I can't jump that far. And I probably don't, probably don't have the power I need to get over there yet. It's probably something I can use to fly or double jump or something. But I don't have any of those options yet. Save point. Okay, this is going to be a boss battle, right? That's the boss battle door. Security keycard D. Keycard for civilians. Allows access to D-level clearance areas. Oh, okay. I was sure I would fight a boss in there, but that didn't happen. It looked like a boss door. I had to fight that robot dog thingy the first time I saw a door like that. Um, this was D, right? Yeah, let's head in here. And get some ether. Okay. The scythe ring surrounds melee orbs with spinning scythes that slice enemies. Equip new passive rings in the orbs menu. Colossal blade viscerates enemies with a giant blade. Equip new spell necklaces in the orbs menu. Okay, so I've got some cool stuff. Uh, let's take a look. I'll equip the scythe ring first because that's an empty slot. Uh, let me see. I can only equip one of these at a time, but I think using the Colossal Blade is a good idea. <gasps> That's awesome! <laughs> oh look, there's little sides spinning around all the time now, so I break stuff as I walk by. That's really useful. I like that. I wonder if I can use my scythe to get that. Nah. I don't, yeah, the blast would do it, but I don't think shooting it works anyway, so... Can we come down here? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I got some data from there. This is a different security card, so I can't open that room yet. I only have D clearance. So that'd be this room, right? Yes, that's D clearance. Hey! A moving floor thingy. 
Does talking to it like flip it around or yeah? Well, I know what these are called now, so that's handy. <laughs> Your helicopters. So many of them, so so annoying. Alright, that's that whole room apparently. Here's a lamp. Bro I broke it. <laughs> broke the lamp. Sorry, lamp. So it's little sides on my orbs that's doing that, because I'm just walking by. Uh, I haven't got Curance level B yet, so I can't get in there. Okay, I feel like that guy's a combatant. Yeah, it's a security guard. Uh, here, there's an elevator, I think, but I can't get into it yet. Gosh, this music is great. Oh, cool, I can deflect their attacks by flipping... Like, by attacking them back. That's pretty cool. Okay, the visor's actually better than the sunglasses. So I'm gonna switch over. There we go. Time to climb up into the roof, I guess. <laughs> what is that? Ah! Gargoyle sentry. Okay. <laughs> I like deflecting the attacks, that's pretty cool. Jerky. Okay, that's that'd be a healing item. Uh, as everyone knows, eating jerky heals you. Just like in real life. God, this game's beautiful. Uh, this is... I think it's a C? Clearance level C? I don't have a card for that. Oh. It's not like anything we've ever seen before, we even have all the pieces. Guess what? Gen Genza wants it working again, by the end of the week. We've only had a couple of weeks, that's madness. No kidding, but you know what we'll do if we don't? Shoot, I'm gonna need some coffee. They're gonna leave the door open so I can just sneak in? Yes. Aha! It's the frame from the time spin, it looks badly damaged though. Must be trying to fix it and use it for themselves. Good thing I found the wheel before they did. Mom. And stay focused. They know where and, and what it was when they attacked. Clearly not how it worked. Fools. But I've had this couple weeks. I must have lost some time when I got thrown through the portal. I need to keep moving. Well, I can get a, a keycard C, so that's good. Can't use the time spent just as well and look for another piece. Okay, so I'm guess I'm kind of going to come back here later once I have more pieces of the time spinner, and I can actually time travel with it. I assume so anyway. Can I use this now? This elevator? Doesn't look like it. Can I drop down here? Yeah. You just gotta press down and B. Like in a lot of games. Pretty simple. Uh, well that's scary. Flesh arachnid. That's horrifying. <laughs> oh my god, there's more of them. Let's, let's do that. Oh my god, I hate this. Okay, I got something called a Mind Refresh. I'm guessing that's a usable item. Restores 30 aura. Okay, cool. Bam! <laughs> that didn't go well. I hate these spider thingies. Horrible, horrible spiders. Okay, 
None of these elevators I can't use, but I can go down this shaft here. I'm not doing a good job avoiding damage here. <laughs> Here, I guess. Oh no, more spiders. Gross. Gross. <laughs> What's in here? Metal wristband. I'm guessing that's a blinking light on the inside. So that. Okay, I can equip that. It makes my defense go up. Cool. I like having more defense. Oh, let's look down here, I guess. Uh, more spiders. I hate this. <laughs> Putting spiders in a video game is homophobic. <laughs> I might need to use a healing item. I'm getting hit a lot. It's in here. Elevator keycard. A personal ID base that has access to all elevators in Van, Van de Grey Metropolis. Okay, so that's useful, obviously. I can see a chest over there, though. I still want to get that. Uh, oh, save point. That'll heal me. Thank god. Okay. Um, oh, I can't get back up that way. I'll take the elevator anyway. Alright. Sends his chest. Give me that. <laughs> More jerky. I'm guessing the map, like you can unlock power up or something, that makes the map show you stuff you missed. Because currently it's not doing that. Go this way? Yeah. Metal wristband. I already got one, but I think I can equip one on each wrist. Yeah, awesome. Hmm, my charge up attack takes a bit longer than I usually anticipate. It's okay, though. Let's head back down to the save point. There we go. Bloop! Okay, this is new. Uh, I do have sea clearance, so I can go in here. Oh no, more spiders! No thank you! I wonder if there's like a warp system, like in Samus Returns. I'm gonna be able to walk between save points or something? Nothing yet, but it feels like there's the sort of game where there would be one. Gosh, the pixel art in this game is gorgeous. Okay, this is probably a boss, right? The spindle from the time spinner. They must have brought it back too, or it was sucked through me, like through like me and the wheel. I just had the spindle gather the threads of time. With this, the wheel and the frame, I could use the time spinner again. I could go back and warn everyone. If I could get back to Windaria. No, I'll do one better. I'll go back and kill the Emperor before he can ever come to Windaria in the first place. Time spinner spindle. Spindle of the time spinner allows limited time travel. Okay, yeah, boss battle time. This is what I was expecting. <laughs> I knew it was coming, but I couldn't dodge it quickly enough. I need to use the time stop ability more often, obviously. Oh, 
Oh dear. Oh dear. Yes, continue. Alright, um... I think I'll start wrapping up the video at this point. It's been 45 minutes. This game looks amazing. Um, I still haven't seen any of the gay stuff um, that apparently is in this game. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, Lunaeus is super cute, uh, and her little dragon friend is super cute too. Hey, dragon? Or? Yeah, dragon. Oh my gosh, sounds like a kitten. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's great. Uh, the combat's really good. There's a whole bunch of different options and customizability, different equipment, that sort of thing. Um, the music is also excellent. Can this go down further? Yeah, there we go. Uh, can I go in there? I don't know. I don't have a B key card, I wasn't sure. Obviously I meant to go get the time spinner spindle and do that boss battle, but let's have a bit of a look around. So yeah, this game looks amazing to me and I would absolutely recommend playing it because it's fantastic. At least that's the impression I'm getting from what I've done so far playing it. Um, here's a memory. Here's an essence crystal, what's that? Okay, enchanted jewelry, nice. And yeah, I just think this is a really, really cool game, and I'm really, really, really impressed. And I would recommend playing this if you like video games. Um, I like video games. Especially when you get to play as, like, a gay black girl who's got super magical time powers and stuff. That's pretty awesome. Uh, um, okay, those are, like, area transition doors. I get it. That's, that's what that kind of door means. So it's just a boss in the first one, by coincidence. Okay. <laughs> also, the music is so great. Like, honestly. I'm going to get back to the save point now, and I'm going to call that a video. Um, that's Time Spinner, a game that I'm super impressed with, and I would recommend playing if you like video games that have cool stuff in them. <laughs> Um, yeah, this is, this is awesome. Um, heck yeah. Ooh. Okay, so I can switch these things off if I want. That's interesting. Anyway, yeah, so yeah. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, 